In the heart of South Florida, Miami-Dade Water and Sewer operates as one of the largest public utilities in the United States, serving the state's highest population. The Miami-Dade Water and Sewer Department works to protect public health and act in the best interest of the environment by providing high-quality water and wastewater services. As part of the water system, there are over 100 miles of 48-inch diameter and larger pre-stressed concrete cylinder pipelines. After a series of high-profile failures in 2010 and 2011, Miami-Dade implemented a comprehensive asset management program for their large diameter pipeline system. They've really started focusing more on proactive upgrade of their pipeline infrastructure. They had some high-profile failures several years ago, and that really emphasized the need to focus on inspection and then rehabilitation of their large diameter water mains. Through their asset management process, Miami-Dade uses a stepped approach beginning with scheduled inspections of the large diameter pipeline inventory on a rotating basis. Next, they are able to evaluate the risk factors and rank the specific pipe sections to be replaced or repaired. As repair projects are considered following the risk ranking, there are several challenges. Shutting down these lines for extended periods of time is not possible. In addition, much of the pre-stressed concrete pipe system runs through densely populated areas under busy streets. So the end goal for Miami-Dade's program is to go through, inspect all of the pipe, and then address using targeted structural repairs without having to dig up the streets. One trenchless method used widely across the United States for high-pressure large diameter pipelines is carbon fiber reinforced polymer. This lightweight, high-strength material is installed on the interior of distressed pipeline segments and provides a full structural upgrade, able to resist all internal pressure and external loads. Structural Technologies VREP Carbon Fiber is an approved system for Miami-Dade pipelines. Miami-Dade also calls on Structural's Specialty Contracting Division as part of its Emergency Response Team. One such project took place in July of 2014. Structural was contacted to perform carbon fiber repairs at 13 segments of 54-inch diameter pre-stressed concrete pipe. The 13 segments were spread out over a three and a half mile stretch of Red Road in the Miami-Dade area. Upon finalizing the exact work scope and technical submittal, Structural performed a rapid mobilization to begin pipeline upgrade operation. Before work could begin, Miami-Dade performed water diversion efforts and the designated repair segments were locked and tagged out for the duration of the project. Once the pipeline was properly isolated, Structural completed the dewatering process so repair work could begin. Due to safety and other challenges associated with high daytime temperatures in July and traffic flow in the repair area, Structural completed the project working night shifts to minimize risks. The first step in installing the VRAP carbon fiber system is surface preparation. Preparing the concrete and joint areas properly is critical for ensuring water tightness of the repair, as well as ensuring long-term performance of the pipeline upgrade. Following surface preparation, the concrete substrate was then tested using the ASTMD 4541 bond test procedure to confirm concrete strength and surface profile. The carbon fiber fabric is then conveyed through the saturation machine, which displaces the appropriate amount of epoxy into the fabric. Once the fabric is properly saturated, it is then lowered into the pipe for installation. V-Wrap system can be installed in longitudinal and circumferential layers, depending on the design requirements. For the Miami-Dade project, it was installed into the pipe segments per the approved design drawings. Each layer was installed and as part of the procedure, thickened epoxy was applied over top. In addition, as the installation took place, quality control inspections were conducted simultaneously. Also during the July project, Structural Technologies approached Miami-Dade about utilizing its strong pipe hybrid FRP system for three of the 13 segments. We had been speaking with the owner for several years now about alternative technologies, particularly using our strong pipe system to be able to uh, re rehabilitate larger runs of pipe for either the same amount of money or the same amount of pipe for a more cost-effective approach. With the desire to stay on the cutting edge of technology and utilize fully structural solutions for extended runs of large diameter pipe, Miami-Dade elected to have strong pipe installed on three of the 54-inch PCCP segments to evaluate the system for future upgrades. 
The strong pipe system consists of high strength steel wire installed in combination with FRP layers custom designed to meet pressure and loading requirements. Because the strong pipe system is 100% trenchless, the installation took place utilizing only manhole access to complete the three 54 inch segments. Structural completed surface prep and the initial layer of FRP successfully giving way to the high strength steel wire placement utilizing the automated system developed by Structural Technologies. Following wire installation, the steel was encapsulated in epoxy polymer and the final layer of FRP and top coat was installed per the approved design. The combined efforts of Structural and Structural Technologies and the utilization of state-of-the-art product solutions, V-Wrap, carbon fiber, and the strong pipe system resulted in a successful and on-time completion of the repairs to the high-risk pipe segments. With continued inspection and rehabilitation efforts for their large diameter water mains, along with their desire to use cutting-edge technology, Miami-Dade Water and Sewer will continue to be one of the most proactive water agencies in the United States.